plane has crashed at Moscow's Vnukova airport. Reports say all people on board have died, including the head of a French oil company. Well, let's cross to RT's Murat Gazdiev for more on this. Uh, Murat, what do we know at this early stage? So far, we know that uh, French-made Dassault uh, uh, has been... It's a well-worn phrase, we often trot it out. But uh, it has been a workhorse of the corporate fleets for many a long year now. And for that reason, uh, you know, it, uh, it has stood the test of time. Well, the French multinational oil and gas company, Total, is one of the six super major oil companies in the world. Christophe de Marjoli, chief executive officer of Total, died in uh, the crash at Moscow's Vnukova airport. He was uh, 63. Mr. Marjoli joined the company after graduating uh, in Paris in 1974. He held several positions, and in January 2002, he became president of the Exploration and Production Division. He was appointed chairman and chief executive officer in 2010. And the company hasn't yet commented uh, on his death and uh, the impact uh, that that will have on the company. Falcon plane. Earlier, I asked aviation expert Chris Yates how secure this model is. Falcon, it's a French-made aircraft in, in uh, this instance. Um, you know, it's been operating since the 1980s in various different guises. Obviously, uh, the, the fuselage has been stretched, it's been changed, it's been altered over time. We don't know the, the make and model number of this particular aircraft at the moment. Um, but, you know, the Falcon jet... cabin. At the time of its completion, Falcon 50 was the first private jet with intercontinental range on the market. It was originally designed to carry 8 to 10 people, but can hold up to 19 passengers. Also, Falcon 50 is one of the rare jets to use a three-engine configuration with a separate fuel system for each one. Now, these characteristics make it possible for the jet to fly up to seven hours non-stop with fuel reserves. Now, the crashed jet uh, was a light... Uh, Dassault uh, aircraft crashed just after takeoff at Moscow's Vnukova airport, one of the big three in the capital. We know that there were four people on board. Uh, the, the passenger, who was Christophe de Marjorie, uh, CEO and chairman of Total, uh, one of France's biggest energy companies. Also, three crew members died, the pilot, uh, co-pilot, and uh, a flight attendant. We know that it happened just after takeoff uh, when the plane attempted to land back at Vnukova. Well, it's early stages, but do we know the cause of the crash right now? Well, uh, according to officials, it's a, it's a combination. Uh, there was heavy fog. Moscow's just experienced its first snow of the year. And uh, the plane apparently clipped a, a snow-clearing machine uh, vehicle during takeoff. It, it still took off, and after a few minutes, the pilot decided to turn around and land back at uh, Vnukovo. During the landing, the impact uh, unfortunately caused the plane's fuselage to collapse. And there was a fire. Everyone died. Right, thank you very much uh, for the update. RT's Murat Gazia following this breaking news story here on RT International. Now let's look at what kind of plane this private jet was. The Dassault Falcon 50 was originally developed to complete long distance transatlantic and transcontinental flights while still maintaining a short takeoff distance and a comfortable.